the price of Bitcoin doesn't change much these days. And we will, of course, return to the technical analysis and um, say a couple of words about this in the end of the video. But well, let's start with the news. And there are actually a lot of things happened. And although it's maybe not that dramatic, I mean, those events, but still, it's interesting to observe the development and things which are happening in the space. So here's the uh, article on Forbes. So you can see again, huge mass media uh, is uh, continuing to supply the information about crypto. Here's the data um, why the Bitcoin is better than the other crypto assets. And they of course referring to the digital gold as usual. And basically what they say is the most important thing about the bitcoin comparing to the other um other currencies and why they are better is that we have the soundness and stability for which is like crucial factors for bitcoin of course um, we have to uh, have a tr uh, sort of um, trade-offs uh, like a privacy transactions are not really applied on Bitcoin and everything. But see, those major things are still the most crucial for uh, being the best um, means of the value, like the, like the store of value instrument. That's why they claim that Bitcoin is the best among the others. And I would like to pay attention on the last uh, paragraph here. Although progress may seem like it's moving on at a snail's pace from an outsider perspective, there has been there's, there has still been plenty of progress made in the development of the Bitcoin protocol over the years. For example, the Lightning Network, and the progress of privacy-related development for Bitcoin, such as Schnorr signatures and Taproot during his appearance on Monero Stock. So those two things. Uh, Schnorr signatures and Taproot are something which we shall pay attention to. Everybody know about the uh, Lightning Network, but, but these two things, not really. And actually, um, in order to fully understand what is, what is that, you need to be quite technically savvy and understand the Bitcoin code and everything uh, on more or less deep level. But <clears throat> generally, um, to, to have a grasp is that uh, for the Bitcoin, you can have a set of the uh, sort of algorithms and sort of uh, features on for the code, which allow you to um, increase the uh, way of sort of flexibility and adding additional functionality of the of, of Bitcoin in, in within the code, right? Using the code. So in a taproot is sort of a development I would say a soft fork probably, but sort of a development of the code which can, uh, connects s uh, several features uh, such as MAST, uh, Merkleized Abstract Synt Syntax Tree and Schnorr. And by using that, uh, Taproot is actually, um, even the, there is a sort of a, another um, step forward from the Taproot which is called Graphroot. Uh, delegating signatures, which are allowing near infinite spending variations. So in the top root uh, on Bitcoin um, allows for smart contracts constructions to look like regular transactions on the blockchain. As long as all participants agree on the outcome of the contract, a cooperative clause, the clever combination of Schnorr and Mast offers both data efficiency and privacy. So you see that in fact, uh, Bitcoin seemingly to be sort of um, uh, immutable and basically fixed and constant. It's actually continuously growing and developing. And there is um, indeed quite of the progress of its um, functionality by many means. And um, there is another, well, just pay attention to these guys. And uh, th this is my point. And another thing is that uh, you actually should realize that those all those things all those developments of the bitcoin are happening by uh, the um, efforts of sort of quote-unquote independent developers and they are sort of decentralized again as soon as the bitcoin is decentralized as well but the question is 
um, which one may ask, who is um, the entity or the organization or groups of people who are paying for those uh, developers and coders? Uh, because of course, apparently they, that all of them bought Bitcoin, like thousand Bitcoins per one dollar a uh, long time ago and now they can do everything they want. Of course, they need to be paid. So who is paying to them? It's a big question. Uh, there are some uh, information about that, but just ask yourself and, and think in this way. And also, as soon as Bitcoin is decentralized, then how just a very few talented and uh, educated people who are knowing how to uh, make those changes in, in the scripts, in the core uh, alg algorithms, in core code of Bitcoin can actually tune it in the way they want, in the way they think is reasonable. Of course, you need to have a consensus in everything, but they submit the possible changes. So um, I will just 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 think about it nothing more that's all i want to say okay and continuing with the news bitwise files for the news bitcoin etf with sec say sec that was from january 10th and we already told about talked about this before uh, just as this news appears but now we have a new, sort of a new update of that uh, so they are doing paperwork and they actually are continuing their efforts and uh, this didn't um, this wasn't cancelled or or um, uh, somehow ended by the shutdown or as the previously happened with the Vanex Oldex ETF. They still want to this ETF be, being approved, but there is no such a, like a fi finite uh, finite finite um, date or something like when they should be approved or disapproved. So it's still the long term process. But uh, on the other hand, we have another another uh, player on, on this field and maybe a second ETF could be launched in 2019 even, we'll see. Um, quite interesting partnership with Duca Scopi Bank with Bitstamp and what they say is that they are making uh, their clients um, um, possible to send bitcoins to their accounts and the crypto will be converted to dollars which they can use to trade on the Swiss FX marketplace. So basically another huge move with the uh, Swiss bank. Uh, another Swiss, Swiss bank in Switzerland seem to be uh, again uh, in, this, in this area quite of the first mover. So nice, not, not bad and you see how the another block in the infrastructure development appears. Uh, one more news and from JP Morgan as usual we have quite of the negative sentiment. Blockchain adoption, tepid and interest in Bitcoin waning says uh, JP Morgan analyst. So basically what they say is that with this um, sort of the price action which of course affecting the um, adoption and interest to Bitcoin we have quite of the low of a level of interest and they again refer to those price levels which may happen like 2400, 100, 1260 and so on. So um, uh, I would say quite of the speculation as usual uh, and well I mean I mean in sort of those sort of negative um, statements about crypto and uh, Bitcoin in particular but you know people are, are reading and speaking about JP Morgan another one Bitcoin is worth less than the cost of mine it says JP Morgan on the on the other hand it's actually a sort of a positive thing that it means that uh, we can't stay that low for for long the me the mean the average value of the mining is like 4060 as they state but um, some of the areas are could be used with my for mining um, lower like um, 2400 as they say or even lower so maybe we can still hold uh, at, the, at this level which actually is sort of not that great for some of the miners but if we will go even lower then a lot of the miners will be in a, in a trouble except just a few in uh, with the best the, be the best profitable areas for mining so and what they claim is that uh, we need to consider some uh, possibilities of the drops of course and just be be careful and 
um, like everything can happen basically what they say but you see uh, again it's sort of adding the some some of the FUD uh, to the to the space preparing people to uh, panic sell if the price will go down well who knows we'll see but I, I can't argue with that maybe it will happen indeed but just don't be overly um, affected by this uh, articles don't let your emotions to drive you again bitcoin volatility slams to over or to lowest in two months and in fact you remember what happened when the volatility of bitcoin was that low well very very low in the beginning of uh, beginning and the end of the beginning beginning and the middle of november and basically what would, would happen is that we fell down from the six thousand to three thousand dollars now you see we are continuing to go lower and lower and lower so if it will continue and we again reach this point or something close to that it's very likely that we will have another leg down or up it's not clear because again it's there is no like a uh, exact um, indication of the further drop maybe we actually need to go up because the further drop was quite previous drop was quite strong so we need to compensate it with the rise so we'll see but anyway we are continuing to uh, approaching the pivotal point in some way so maybe a month or two according to this trend and we will see something interesting in the market um, the future of money from cryptocurrencies to money over IP and again the article from Forbes Forbes is continuing to uh, drive the attention from the newcomers to crypto about why cryptocurrencies is good you can look at the history of money and electronic cash and uh, cryptocurrencies as the final sort of the um, evolutionary step in this and basically what they say that we can have some of the new approach in money uh, and types of money like it was with uh, voice over IP and Skype and so on and now we can have money over IP so we'll redefine, redefine money could be indeed so quite positive from Forbes a lot of the art, positive articles from Forbes these days so probably they invested in Bitcoin quite a lot but speaking about investing I wonder how much JP Morgan invests in Bitcoin and crypto because spreading fat is the best way to buy cheap um, another one Peter Brandt uh, you know probably that guy's pretty much famous in the crypto space so basically what he said that uh, uh, we can have 50 50 percent chance uh, of um, Bitcoin becoming worthless or reaching five fifty thousand dollars but on the other hand he say that we can have the sort of like five years sideways trend as we see from for gold and if this happened with Bitcoin how many people even like maxim Bitcoin maximalists and enthusiasts how much will they uh, many of them will will continue storing and, and using Bitcoin and um, working in the space maybe quite a few quite a lot will will leave and what they say there here there are three negative features of Bitcoin charts this time uh, the weekly trance is down the market lacked of ability to com complete head and shoulders bottom when it had the chance well actually worse head and shoulders I guess he meant uh, the daily moving average line has turned down in slope and closed below 3400 lower lowered from the last week's number so indeed we have sort of this and also he mentioned this uh, channel forming uh, downwards channel uh, descending channel so yeah he, he has a point and we are indeed going down and um, sliding so it's sort of in, in the downwards but you know there are of course the counter arguments and this brings us to the discussion about the price so basically um, since the price didn't change much and basically the trend is the same I would stand on the same uh, opinion which I man made before there are strong indications of the uh, possible um, rise instead of fall to the new low and you can refer to one of the previous well, actually few previous videos uh, about why uh, where, where I talk about uh, why this is um, reasonable why it's it's this idea is relevant but what is really interesting you see actually I have pretty much the same channel picked up like um, on the previous um, 
chart that we saw from uh, Peter Brandt, here it is, uh, here this one. So basically we are thinking in pretty much the same way, but on the other hand I would say that this inertia, inertia, this momentum of the drop was sort of dissipated during this sideways price action. And it is more likely that, in my opinion, that uh, if previous long um, price action, sideways price action was the accumulation to the short for the, all the shorts of huge players, then this may be accumulation of the longs, because otherwise why they would um, not drop price even lower, at least sooner. So, I mean, of course, there could be a, a sort of the resistance of the bulls at, at this point, but you see actually the volume here was not that huge. It was not so hard to push the price lower, they, but they didn't. It seemed like they didn't want to scare off the um, majority of the people here, so maybe they will push it lower to uh, and collect the most of, of the things around here most of the liquidity around here and in fact there are two uh, there is like a, at, at least two groups um, of people with with different um, standpoint on this issue and I would like to to mention um, some of the altcoins actually a lot of the altcoins behave in the same way but there are two ways of thinking of that so of course bullish and bearish but just just um, try to follow what I'm trying to say basically we had the low for example this is Cardano we had the low and now we're climbing up and up and up slowly with the pullbacks not so huge though and of uh, building some sort of uh, support some basis on each and new level the thing is if you are considered the first group of people who are considering that this was the low and they are thinking okay we will the price will go higher from that from now on we will not reach this low we need to buy somewhere at this area before the price went up and if here they considered okay we need to pull back somewhere around here maybe in order to have a better price so we'll wait and uh, until the price will go higher so the price went a little even higher without this pullback so if they said okay maybe uh, we will not buy here because uh, it's even more expensive, but we'll, we are already ready to buy in this area again. So if the price will go back, we will buy this area and then we can continue our long position. But the price doesn't do that. And if the, if the price will continue to climb, those people, we will be um, out of their long position. So uh, eventually they will buy at some point. At, at this point, when the majority will buy, the price can go down and those people will be in a loss and the majority of the people will lose their money while the huge players will of course gain and gain their liquidity uh, another way of looking at this is that if you um, think that this wasn't the real bottom that the bottom is actually uh, happen will happen eventually what you can think is okay um, i will buy i would i would like to buy lower than this and you see that the price continue to grow you see okay the price went up well it will go down price went up and you think okay it will actually go down it's just like correction and then price again will went up even more so you will continue to think that the price will go even lower and you want don't want to buy but price doesn't let you <coughs> uh, any indication that you are wrong because it's still very slow uh, and sort of um, uh, in uh, not not uh, con uh, sort of um, how to say that not confident right not confident move uh, not confident trend and you would think okay I, I will still continue to hold my standpoint that it will go even lower I will not buy and I will not um, change my mind but if you will not buy this this trend then price may actually not continue to not uh, return to this level at all so in another group of people who are shortest as i said they may again to be out of the position so thinking of the situation in these two ways may you may explain um, how the further development of the price will um, happen how the price will evolve depending on which way the sentiment of the market will incline in my opinion, it's all just about the supply of dem and demand, and now we are in sort of 
um, situation when just basically market cannot decide uh, which group of people is bigger but you see um, again I, I drew this triangle around here this four triangles and all of them um, broke or actually evolved developed quite uh, I would say without confidence and not strongly not with some kind of um, breakouts but just some okay we made this narrowed range let's go to another level made, made now range okay let's go another level. let's return back sort of boring and weak movements of the price uh, moves of the price so uh, all of that indicates that the um, both bulls and bears they're sort of sort of tired and want to see the opponents move first to react however again we are in the same descending channel we are continuing to make um, well low, more or less um, on the um, bigger time scale lower lows and starting from this at least and as soon as we are continuing um, bears are in a favor however uh, saying that I must uh, mention um, uh, that we I'm uh, sorry I must um, uh, pay pay your pay attention to the certain levels and before um, we will reach those levels I wouldn't be really bearish so for example this 4, 3450 is the quite an important level and uh, again this blue line um, uh, support line as soon as we are not below that and as soon as we are not below this uh, dark blue line that basically means that we are still in the uh, quite of the situation when the both ways are really possible and uh, before before reaching the minimum the previous minimum there is no way no 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 reason to panic although of course volume is decreasing and so on but still nothing to be said about the defined bearish scenario around here so that's my standpoint it's not really clear as you see it, I, i'm basically out of the trade but you know the, the 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 hardest thing in trading is weight so sometimes you need to stay away of trading and see how the things are evolved so far if you made some trades stick with them stick with your plans and um, safe trading guys i hope it was useful uh, and hope to thank you for being with me within this video watching this and um, maybe i will see you tomorrow in the next update as i'm doing them daily for you okay goodbye